Hi there, I'm Anna Aspinus from Anna Aspinus Designs. I help memory keepers and photo enthusiasts feel like artists and creative geniuses in combining photos and stories with my unique abstract art. I create easy to use digital products that yield complex results and then show you how to use them. In this video I want to demonstrate the basic clipping mask function found in Adobe Photoshop and Elements and show you a clever little trick for making your photos work with any clipping mask using the gradient tool. I will be working in Photoshop Elements version 11 but these techniques can be duplicated with minimal variation in similar versions of Adobe Photoshop or Elements. What are clipping masks? Clipping masks describe any filled shape, brush, or transfer to which a photo or image can be clipped in Adobe Photoshop, Elements, or even PaintShop Pro. The transparent pixels in the layer masks areas of the image, enabling the image to assume the shape of the clipping mask. The best way to learn clipping masks is to watch how they function. I create a line of clipping masks called Photo Blends. These clipping masks offer distressed and or blended edges, making it really easy for you to blend your images into artsy digital background papers. These masks can be located in the clipping mask category of the Anna Aspinus Design Store at oscraps.com. In this layout, I clipped a black and white image to a photo blends clipping mask and incorporated the gradient tool technique for a quick approach to creating a blended layout. You won't believe how quick and easy this page was to put together. Watch the following steps. The basic clipping mask technique. Create a new 12 by 12 layout at 300 dpi. Go to File, New, Blank File, put a width in of 12, ensure the height is 12, and ensure the resolution is at 300, then click OK. Next go to File, Open, and select an artsy background paper and a clipping mask. As you can see, I have all my supplies located in one folder. It's quite possible that you will have to move around your folders to locate the appropriate supplies. I click on my paper, hold down the control key, click on my mask, and then click on open. Select the move tool from the tools panel. Move the files to the right of your screen so that we can see our new 12 by 12 layout. Click on the artsy background paper, hold down the left mouse button, drag and then release the left mouse button to drop the paper into place. Repeat this process with the clipping mask. Notice that I'm placing the clipping mask in the best area of design. Close these supply files by clicking on the X in the top right hand corner of the image so that we can better see our foundation. Next select and open the image of your choice. You can do this directly from your folders. Click on the folder, select the image, and drag into your workspace. From here, ensure you still have the Move tool selected, hold down the left mouse button, drag and release, and place over your clipping mask. Close out the original photo layer, and to clip the layer to the mask, go to Layer, Create Clipping Mask, and notice now that the photo conforms to the shape on the underlying layer. You can also press Ctrl plus G buttons simultaneously on your keyboard to clip the image to the mask. In Photoshop, you will need to press Ctrl plus Alt plus G. And if you're on a Mac, use the Command button instead of Ctrl. Notice now that this clipped photo is denoted by an indentation and a downward facing arrow in the Layers panel. The Gradient Tool Technique some of the important details of my photo are currently distorted by the blended edges of the mask. We can try and solve this problem by resizing the image. Select the Move tool from the Tools panel. Click on the corner of the bounding box. Notice the Options change in the Options bar 
ensure that your constraint portions box is checked and then move the box inward. Notice that the arrow changed from an arced arrow to a double ended diagonal arrow. Make sure that you have the double diagonal arrow when you pull the handles inwards to ensure that you're resizing the image and not rotating. Fiddle around with it until you have the desired look and then accept the transformation. Because one of my subjects in my photo is so close to the edge of the image, you can see that I am left with this harsh photo edge and then also an area of the clipping mask that is partially visible. To solve this problem, we can use the gradient tool. Start by creating a new layer. Click on the image layer in the layers panel, then go up to the create new layer icon and click to create a new layer. Then go to layer, create clipping mask to incorporate that new layer into your clipped image. Click on the gradient tool. Ensure that you have the correct gradient selected. Click on this downward facing arrow to activate your options and click on the forward to transparent. Ensure that you have normal select. Opacity should be 100. Ensure that you have the transparency and dither boxes checked and ensure that the linear option is also selected. Next you need to change the foreground color. Go to the color options in your tools panel. Click on the foreground color which is currently red. Double click to activate your color picker. Then click on an area just below your image. In this case I'm going to select this light mint green. When I click on it you can see that the color then automatically sets to that same mint green in my image. Click OK and then ensure that you have that new layer selected and then click holding down the left mouse button again, drag and release to create a gradient and continue doing this until that you have covered up that harsh edge of the image as so. And you can see that that provides a pretty nice solution to our original problem. You can clean up any remaining harsh edges such as this one on the left hand side using an eraser tool and a soft round or distressed brush. Click on the eraser tool in the tools panel. Notice that your options change at the bottom of your screen. Click on the downward facing arrow and either load the brush of your choice or use an existing one. I'm going to go with this Art Play Palette Sky's the Limit brush 19. Select it, click on the image layer in the layers panel and then just lightly brush over the edge to remove that harsh line. Embellish your layout. I added a title from Love Scripted number 1, added embellishment such as this key tape and button from Artplay Palette Destiny. They coordinate with my artsy background paper. I added some stitching from Urban Stitches number six and then completed my layout with the date and my journaling. See I told you clipping masks are super easy. However, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at Anna underscore Aspinus at yahoo.com. And if you know of anyone who might benefit from this video, please help them out and share this link. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back sharing more techniques soon. As always, thanks for supporting my art.